This is Kelly Hill, technology reporter for RCR Wireless News. I'm here today with Gary Griffiths and Patricia Hume of iPass. And I want you guys to give me a little bit of insight. Um, Gary, you're here to present. Uh, we're at Wi Fi Now 2016. Right. Um, give us a little bit of sense of where iPass has been, where it's going. And then, Patricia, if you can just please chime in you know, as he goes along. Don't um, encourage her. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, Gary? Uh, we're, a, we're a software company. We happen to have the advantage of the largest Wi-Fi network in the world, so we're able to leverage our software technology across providing services like security and ease of connection and ubiquitous connectivity across the globe, any, any place, anywhere in the world. We're the Uber of Wi-Fi. Absolutely. Now, analytics has become uh, more important to you folks recently. Uh, tell me a little bit about what role that is playing for you and how you see that moving forward. We, we, um, We've been with the company for about a year, Patricia and I, and we've, we've been changing the company over the past year in virtually every aspect, from what we call unlimited, which says you know anybody can use as much Wi-Fi as they want on any devices, to being everywhere, which has resulted in tripling the size of our footprint from about 18 million hotspots to now over 50 million. And then the last part of this is invisible, that the technology needs to be an invisible, just running in the background, working all the time. Now, part of being invisible was the launch of our platform called iPass Smart Connect, which we launched in November, announced in November, started shipping it in December. One of the really cool aspects of Smart Connect is the ability to collect data about all the Wi-Fi hotspots any place in the world. So now we know where they are geographically, we know their performance, we know connectivity success rate, uh, and just based on a, a, a few months of data collection, we really have today the world's only accurate map of not only where all the hotspots are, but how well they perform relative to other ones. Yeah, and we have a, an ability to curate these hotspots as well. So we find out where the users want to connect, right? And with our technology, if it's a free hotspot, we can curate it. So the next time they're there, they're going to connect intelligently and invisibly, you know? And then secondarily, if we don't have that hotspot in our footprint, and it is not free and unencumbered, I now know, we now know where we need to go intelligently to get the supplier network in. So the data is providing all kinds of value, not just to our customers and our partners, but also giving us insight and guiding us on where do we need to go next to secure more footprint to provide this ubiquity Gary's talking about with the everywhere aspect of our strategy. And can you talk a little bit more about the value that that brings to to partners? Um, you know, we, we just had, kind of had a casual conversation beforehand talking about, you know, how that changes the conversations that you have with different companies. Um, can you kind of reiterate a little bit of, of, of how analytics changes the conversation and the value involved? Yes, so we were talking to a hospitality uh, provider, uh, an actual hospitality person uh, mm -hmm. in the hotel industry. Yeah? So we were talking to them about, you know, perhaps we could bring in value to them through our analytics. They asked, well, what are you talking about? And I said, well, do you care to know how your hotspots are performing in room 101 versus 410? And they said, absolutely, because, you know, being connected is such a need of everybody today that they, they really do value the need to make sure that when you're visiting their hotel, you have an excellent Wi-Fi connection experience. We can guide them, provide them that data, and then they can ensure that the customer experience, the quality of connection is the same throughout the venue. Yeah, because, you know? because as, as you imply, the, the Wi-Fi is so important to travelers today that when, they, when the hotels do their surveys, it always comes up one or two. And so if they get a bad experience, uh, someone gets a bad experience, they'd like, well, why? We 90% of our guests say the Wi-Fi is great. Why is this person having a bad experience? Like, well, look at the map. This room, That's for right. whatever reason, yeah. is not, not connected. Right. And one of the other concepts that both of you mentioned is this uh, this idea of no excuses connectivity, and mm -hmm. that's not just Wi-Fi. That's, right. that's, that's right. looking at cellular, um, potentially satellite. Right. So talk a little bit about what role you see connectivity in general playing, uh, and, and iPass is part of that. Well, so we see our we don't see ourselves as Wi-Fi only, right. Wi-Fi first. Right. But the heritage of the company, which we were fortunate enough to inherit, was a a great patent portfolio of technology that primarily is about managing connections. And those connections historically, there was no Wi-Fi when iPass started. iPass started connecting people with modems. And that went to 2G and 3G and 4G and Wi-Fi. 
but it's always been about figuring out the best connection for the time for a customer. So we see, uh, as Patricia said, we see cellular, we see potentially satellite, um, we see LTE, unlicensed spectrum. All of these are opportunities for us, not threats to our business. When you think of, when you think of your business, not about technology, but about providing a connectivity service, then there's no bad answer. That's right. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Enjoy the conference. Well, thank Kelly, you very much. Kelly, it was a pleasure. Appreciate the time. Thanks thank very you. much. Uh -huh.